Hello and welcome to Flow Thoughts. I'm doing this series where I go and recreate other motion designers' work, and in this one, we're gonna recreate this text animation here uh, by Itai Tevel. I hope I pronounced his name right. His work is insane. I like this one and this one also. It's so good. So let's go ahead and uh, start uh, making this text animation. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create a composition by right click near composition. And we're gonna make this 800 by 800 pixels. And we're gonna make the frame rate 24. It's self preferences, you can do whatever you want. And then we create OK. This will create a composition. Then we're gonna go ahead and create a text. By doing that, we're gonna go to our timeline and we're gonna right click new text. And then we're gonna write H. Gonna center this to the middle. Then we're gonna go ahead and Duplicate this text by Control D, and we're gonna name this A. Gonna center it too. Then we're gonna select both of our texts. Hit S for the scale, and we're gonna scale this until it fits the composition. Then what we're gonna do is select both of our text layers, and right click and create shape from text for some reason after effect doesn't allow you to create shape from text for two texts you have to do it one by one so we're gonna go create the h text then we're gonna do the a let's drag this to the top we don't need this anymore so we're gonna delete this so the a is gonna be just for reference so we're gonna change the color for this to red and we're gonna lock it because we don't need it anymore then we're gonna start the animation so the animation is gonna be depending on the path of the shape so we're gonna drop down right here and we go to the shape then you find this path right here so you add the keyframe then we're gonna go one sec one second later and we're gonna start animating and the animation is gonna be changing the path from the H to follow the A and to do that you have to select your shape tool right here by clicking on G then we're gonna create click on alt to select points then we're gonna drag them like this then we're gonna do the right side right here it doesn't have to fit uh, exactly the same of what we have And we're gonna drag the top left right now, like so. Gonna do the right top, top right. Then we're gonna do the middle one. So we're gonna select same thing, or Alt and click, or Alt and select. And then we're gonna drop this to the middle shape of the A, like so. You can skip this part if you want to, because this is depends on the layer that you're working on. Now that we have, uh, if we like shy this uh, layer, we're gonna see the animation from the H to the A. Then we're gonna go another second layer and we're gonna copy our first keyframe for the A, for the H, and we're gonna control V at the last keyframe. Now you have a shape animation goes from A to H. We're gonna click F9 for easy ease, and we're gonna drag these handles right here to give us. like so now it's perfectly looping now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new composition and we're gonna name this main and we're gonna multiply our composition by four because we need four on the horizontal and three on the vertical and we're gonna multiply the vertical the height to three and click okay 
Then we're gonna name our first composition a H to A. I'm gonna drop it to our main. Then you select your composition and Alt Shift Control to snap it to the right to the top left corner. Then we're gonna dupl duplicate this four times. We're gonna drag the fourth one to the right here. Then select all your compositions and go to window, align, and align them vertically like this, horizontally like this. So you don't have to manually uh, align them. Then we're gonna duplicate these three, ti three times. The first ones are gonna be like so. Then we're gonna duplicate another time. Since we can't align them by, sh by shortcuts, we're gonna just manually do that. We're gonna select these three and we're gonna manually align them to vertically, like so. Yeah, now as you can see here, the first one starts as A, the second one starts as H and goes on. So to do that, we can go ahead and duplicate our first layer uh, composition, go enter it and we're gonna change the keyframes to go from H to A, to a from H from A to H. So we're gonna drag the keyframes in reverse like so. And we're gonna copy the first keyframe and we're gonna drop it at the end. Now it goes from A to H. We're gonna do the graphs again because that messes up the, the graph. Like so. Now we're gonna do is select our layers that we want to start from the A, this one, this one, this one, and this one, this one, and this one. I'm just following what uh, Itai Teller created, so you can go ahead and do whatever you want. And we're gonna click on our composition right here and click Alt to replace this composition with what we created. Now we have it start from A to H. Now I'm gonna go to two seconds and close our composition right here. And that's it. Uh, now for the colors that you see in the background, we're gonna recreate that too. First we're gonna pre-compose all these layers so we have a clean timeline. And we're gonna name this all. We're gonna create a composition. I'm gonna name it background PG. So for this, I'm just gonna create like a bunch of circles, like so. Doesn't matter how it looks like. Then we're gonna create a null object. We're gonna parent all these shapes to it and we're gonna make it rotate 360 and it has to be at the end of two seconds to just to have it look I'm gonna change these to continuous keyframes like so then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a new solid and I'm gonna go and at a preset called four colors gradient you can change the colors to whoever you want i'm gonna just change the blue and i'm gonna change the green to yellow i need this blue to be a little bit wider yeah right there then what i'm gonna do is just duplicate this as much as I have as shape layers, so I'm gonna duplicate this six times. 
and I'm gonna add a preset called set made And I'm gonna go to the select our shape in the bottom right here. Go to the same thing. So this one is gonna be revealing the shape that we have on the bottom. This one is gonna reveal this one and go and goes on. Just do the same thing. Then what we're gonna do is just have a background so I'm gonna add the background from here I have a bunch of these gradient backgrounds I'm gonna just drag one from these if you want to download these I can provide the link in the description to download them from creative market I'm gonna have this to fit on the screen then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add an adjustment layer and then we're gonna add a fast blur gonna make this repeat edges gonna make this like 50 or more I'm gonna also increase the size of these shapes because they are so small first let me make the anchor point in the center nice then what I'm gonna do is just add the noise I'm gonna uncheck the use color noise. I'm gonna make this 10. Okay, now we're gonna drag this background to our main. And we're gonna duplicate our all here for the ANH composition. And we're gonna make this background only appears on this on these uh, text so we're gonna go ahead and add the preset preset called set main we're gonna make it only appear for the text you can also shy this layer now because you don't need it anymore and there you have it now we have everything done so that's it for this uh, tutorial i'm gonna recreate other motions designers work soon and i'm also doing live streams on behance and youtube these days if you missed it out you can check it out on youtube if you don't watch the live stream or you can come hang out and also you can download the project file from patreon and that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one